So we're going to add a rotation to this, uh, the sun. So let's make sure that we've got the sun selected and add the rotate option. We're going to rotate by 360, but you're welcome to have a play around with this. Um, and you can set it to counterclockwise as well. Um, we're just going to set these into linear. Make sure that you have a try around of all the different easing options here, but I felt that linear was the best one um, for mine. I'm just going to set the duration to 0 0.33. Have a play around with these values and see what you think looks best. Let's have a little preview of that then. All right. Nice. So it's not too fast and it's not too slow. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. So now we need to add this backwards condition. Um, so underneath conditions two, we're going to click rotate again. And again, we're going to set this to 360. Um, and we're going to change the easing to cubic bezier. Um, what's cool about this, it's got a really nice um, effect. Um, so this time we might have the duration a little bit longer. Um, underneath here, I've put in the values as 0 0.18, 0 0.89, um, and 0 0.32, and 1.7. But, you know, again, have a play around with this, see what you think looks good. Um, and I've also set my duration to 0 0.57 because I thought longer dura durations um, provide the sun with more rotation time and has a better look on the cubic bezier effect. Um, short durations tend to minimise this. So let's have a wee look at that. Um, I think that looks really cool, but it's up to you guys what you reckon looks best for you. Um, I really do think it's good to have a play around with these things because not only is it fun, but you might find a different effect that you think looks even cooler. So it's totally up to you.